the law. Of course, not all organizations you might deal with in travel situation are customer service oriented. Take the parish, take the police, for example, or more specifically, the U.S. Customer Service HFK International Airport in New York. Marsha Lajareva was searched on an incoming flight by a senior customer officer who found and declared merchandise enough for a $2,500 fine and who not knows what else. There are four trainees in the room, Marsha said. It was clear that the custom officer intended to make an example out of my case. The first thing Russia did was apologize. As the customer customs officer, officer colonially berated her, I kept thanking her for doing her job, Russia said, for educating me about the regulations, for keeping me from bigger troubles in the future. Marsha confessed that she didn't have a good reason either. The lines were very long. She told official Colombi, I guess that was really stupid. Thanks again for picking me up. Marsha kept acknowledging that the customer, customs official had the power to throw the book at me. In the end, Marsha was fined a mere $33. You are the first person, Officer Colonel told her, who ever appreciated me and my job. The negotiation tools Marsha used included recognizing the fact that she was in a negotiation situation, remain calm, focusing on the other person, recognizing the role of the other party, being direct and honest, and providing emotional payments, including apologizing and valuing them. As a result, she went home instead of facing fines and possible confinement. What is the value of that? Marsha is now vice chairman and managing director of KGL Investment Company, an emerging market private equity fund. Let's stick with Marsha for a moment. She seems to have it down in dealing with the bureaucracy. Most bureaucrats and officials of the law are underpaid, sometimes overworked, and often unhappy and unappreciated. This is a very good insight to have if you find yourself in a situation where you have to negotiate with it then. Marsha needed a visa within three days at one point in, uh, in order to take a last minute trip to France. The allotted time to get a visa is 14 days. Her volume was high, making it difficult to reach a visa official. The secretary, secretary who answered the phone was unwelcoming. Marsha remained friendly and cheerful. She apologized for the secretary being so busy. Before long, she was connected to a consulate official. Again, acknowledging the other person's power is an effective negotiation tool. The visa official located her file. I invited official Colleen in small talk. Marsha said, I made him laugh. I apologized for the inconvenience. Twelve minutes into the conversation, he approved her visa. She could pick it up in three days. Okay, so you think Marsha was too assertive? Well, did she make the consulate officials day better? She said. And you know, she went to France, and I suspect a lot of other people who didn't use such tools didn't. And Marsha does something that most people miss. She remains focused on the other party. After all, they almost always have what you want. 
ground connection, even when you are right, it is important to make the other person feel important and appreciated. Many people think each other like especially those who already feel important and successful and have enough money. But most of the world does not fall into this category. And we live in a society where for better or worse, people of all sorts depend on one another, whether they like it or not. So before you call that moron a moron, you'd better make sure you don't need them for something. As someone I know once said, don't laugh at the crocodile until you cross the river. Fatih was not truck was charged $470 for returning a rental car to Boston instead of to his rental location. A repeat customer he had never been charged before. What's more, the car agent's website said he could return it to Boston without an extra charge. The club at the desk refused to consider my request, Fed said. He was actually rude. What would be your first reaction in this situation? All right, was in Indignation. It should be. The clock is not the decision maker. Don't waste any time. Mm. Fate asked for the manager. When the manager came out, I immediately acknowledged his power as the decision maker. Fate Fatid, Fatid said. Fatih said the company's website had the wrong information and suggested that the manager check it then and there. He did. Instead of my writing the corporate office, why don't you say Fatih, vice president of wireless company? You can get credit for fixing this. Fatih mentioned to the management that the incident was very stressful. The manager thanked him and reduced my bill by more than 50%, in addition to waiving the $470 return charge. But he said the kid he said was helping other people fix their problems instead of blaming them. If the other person is in a bad mood, offer to do something for them. A J you so that the harsh rental car agent was upset from a previous customer without saying a word. He just stepped back from the counter and gave her a movement to catch her breath. The manager noticed and appreciated the gesture. People are always rushing at travel service providers, giving them a chance to breathe. When she was ready to deal with him, he said hi and was pleasant to her. He said he was hoping to get an upgrade from his economic car. And he wanted to know if he could do anything for her. I've always been pleased with Harris' service, he said. Could I fill out one of the surveys you have here? AJ, a uh, restructuring vice president in New York, didn't get one upgrade. He got upgraded three levels from SUV. Did he manipulate this situation? How? By making the manager feel better? By giving her a chance to catch her breath? By allowing her to make him an especially loyal customer for the future? You say, I don't live in a world like that. Yes, you do. Oh, now, you don't see it as clearly as you will when you start trying this to go. They'll just say, the harder you work, the luckier you get. The more you use these tools, the nicer people will be to you and the more you will meet your goals. 
it should be clear by now that different kinds of people mean different kinds of nation. Just because a tool doesn't work with one person doesn't mean it won't work with someone else on the same issue with the same organization. Jessica Rich missed the 5 05 p.m. train from New York to Philadelphia because the ticket machine was broken. Her ticket on the 517 was $79 compared to the $60 she would have paid for the 505 train. The ticket agent changed the ticket for her but would not reimburse Jessica for the price difference. Jessica said, is it I'm Craig's policy to charge customers for each own error? To which the ticket agent responded, honey, you can either hang with me or you can get on the train. Jessica said she was tempted to just take the loss. The world is not fair, but isn't it? Well, hundreds of small inserts each week that detect from life. So she called Amtrak customer service and spoke to the floor. She explained the problem. Floyd was reluctant to give the credit to her. So Jessica, now an attorney in New York, again asked, is it Amtrak's policy to charge customers for each own errors? Floyd said, no, absolutely no. Floyd sent her a $20 train voucher. That is the importance of using standards and exercising consistency. Fiona Cox always asks travel professionals where they are from. She often makes a lasting connection. Once the cheapest fare she could find home to New Zealand was $1,900. According to the salesman, Fiona asked the salesman where she was from, New Zealand. The salesman spent the extra time to find Fiona $1,500 flight. I do this all the time now, said Fiona, now a finance manager at a global bank in Florida. Michael Leskinen was taking a hired car from Midtown Manhattan to New York. It was a $65 plus dollars, Mike told the driver. He often used the car service to the airports. It would be nice to have a driver to call first, Mike said. The driver told Mike that if he called him directly, he would sell the 30% fee to the dispatch company or $20. So Mike offered the $50 plus torch for the ride, and he got the driver's business card. Mike learned how to eliminate the middleman. It is something thousands of businesses have learned. Dealing with selectively with the vendor, either for better service or better deals. Here are two extraordinary example of framing, one with Amtrak, one with Avis. They will give you a sense of what some real pros do with these tools. Almost effortlessly every day, first is our show gala, who operates companies for private equity owners, are bought a ticket on the metro liner from New York to Philadelphia. He got to the train station very early, so he tried to take an earlier note East Express. It was sold out. As the ticket agent told him, and about 10 people ahead of him. So I found the train conductor and asked, what does sold out mean? He was told it meant every seat was paid for. Do people sometimes not show up for their train even if they bought a ticket? I asked. Yes, the conductor said. 
there are almost always sets. So can I have one of the sets some is not going to show up to or else? He was left on the train and added $30 savings. His colleagues waited another hour at Penn Station for the next metro liner standards framing and asking for the definition. The other vision involves a student who rented a car from ABS in Albuquerque, New Mexico for spring break week. When he got 100 miles from the line, he realized that he paid for a car one place higher than he got. Rather than all, go all the way back, he drove the car for a week and asked for credit upon his return. He was refused. The customer service rep told him that the contract says you pay for the car you signed for when you leave the lot. And she turned over the contract with the provisions and his signature. You think that's conclusive? Think again. There is negotiation to do, as you know. Most rental car contracts are printed in time, a light gray type or light pink paper. Every hard to read, so the student said, it's not my responsibility to read this contract, why not? The ABS reps asked, look at this contract. The student said, you can hardly read it, why? If it was my responsibility, to read this contract, your slogans would not be we try harder. It would be you try harder if you can got the credit. Travel, organize, travel organizing. Clearly, the more you effectively prepare for a trip, the less unpleasantness. As travel is expensive, you should enjoy it every moment. Dr. Jeff Stanley's goal, as he put it, was to resolve conflict and summer vacation dreams among his elderly parents in Virginia. His sister's family in California and his own family, his parents were too tired to travel. His brother had a conflict around the school trip and his sister felt guilty about not coming home. So Jeff stepped back and said to himself, what is really going on here? One, hardly anyone was in the mood for a vacation. Two, only one civil needed to see their parents. Three, no one had done any real planning. Four, trying to sort this out in a conference call would only make it worse. So Jeff talked to each party separately to find out hopes, dreams, and fear. After collecting this, the information, he proposed a delay till Christmas. We have six months to get our act together, he told the others we put down on inviolate date. Everyone Catch a task. Jeff committed to see his parents over the sermon, and his brother saved $1,500 on a on plane ticket. The key was managing the process, he said. What do we learn from this? First, there should be one coordinator, the calmest person. Second, information should be collected incrementally from one person at a time. Third, the coordinator should collect, collate agreement and disagreement points and then propose a better solution. Marco, Antonio, and some friends were on vacation south beach, the trend part of my end. They wanted to get into the meat lounge in Columbus Day weekend, but it was a hard club to get into. So they did some research beforehand. They were permitted into the club in their hotel, the white law, and white law and mint 
short list of VIPs. They discovered and reported people to one another. Would only refusing entry to one of your partner's club members be bad for business? Marco asked the mint gatekeeper. Mark was prepared to ask questions, used the third parties to find found out about interests and identified the picture in their heads and got in. Justin Baghdadi, a Western DC attorney, improved all of his family's holiday gatherings by developing a planning process. His fiance Katie wanted to spend Christmas with her family in Boston. Justin wanted to spend Christmas with his family in Michigan. So Justin immediately expanded the size of the negotiation. He asked Katie which holiday her parents in Boston liked better. Thanksgiving or Christmas? Answer. Thanksgiving. Uh, issue sir. He would have kept expanding the pie once he found the treat. There is New Year's birthdays. Certification is true. The list was shown. This is what the best negotiators do. Bringing back the plane of uh, the price. As those I've heard, here of the successes, similar results appear repeatedly. The anecdotes mentioned here are not one-time events, but can be reproduced if you learn the truth. So I wanted to end this chapter with another story of someone who was able to bring a plane back to the gate so he could board. This was a business situation. A young manager from Johnson & Johnson was scheduled to make a presentation to his company's board of directors on a six-month project. It was the most important business meeting of his life. The plan on the first leg of his trip was late, and he was about to miss the connecting flight to get him on the to the meeting. The next plane did not depart for six hours. He would miss the board meeting and his career would take a big step backward. The young manager was beside himself. The gate agent felt bad for him. So she led him running down the jetway to try to make the plane. But when they got to the end of the jetway, the plane had already pulled away. It was stopped about 20 feet from the jetway. The pilots were doing their pre-flight checks. The gate agent tried desperately to get the pilot to bring back the plane, gesticulating with her arms, but it wasn't working. Then the young manager remembered one of the truths from my course. Why? I people about to be shot by a firing squad blindfolded because it's hard to shoot someone when you're looking them in the eyes. When you are let onto a freeway doing heavy traffic, each after you make eye contact. So the student took his bags, walked to the very edge of the jetway looked up at the pilot and stretched out his arm wide apart as in the gesture shooting. He just stood there waiting to be shot. The pilot brought back the plane. It just took a minute with a very little inconvenience, but it had a dramatic positive impact on that young manager's life. The young managers had conducted a negotiation to be sure a business negotiation, a table negotiation, comfort and non verbal, but the negotiation was conscious and structured and it used the negotiation tool that is invisible to those who doesn't know it. As you travel through life, 
to airport, roadway, freeway, other countries, no matter where you go, if you use your digital tools, you will get more.